Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Peter Byrne and we'll be taking a look at three articles that deal with the sham elections that took place in Ukraine's eastern regions over the weekend. As expected, Kremlin-backed insurgents in Lugansk and Donetsk Oblast won handily in the vote. Uh, the first article we'll be taking a look at was written by David Stout for Time magazine. He writes, Moscow's continued failure to fulfill its obligations under the Minsk agreements calls into question its commitment to supporting a peaceful resolution to the conflict in parts of eastern Ukraine. David Stout also quotes the official Russian foreign ministry statement on the vote. German state broadcaster, meanwhile, Deutsche Welle, speculates whether Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko will rip up the ceasefire agreement signed in Minsk on September 5th as a result of the vote. Chancellor Angela Merkel's spokesman said Germany found it incomprehensible that official Russian voices were talking of recognizing the election results. Russia's foreign ministry said that it respected the results, but indicated that it would refrain from supporting outright independence for Donbass. Paul Global, who has covered developments in the region for the past two decades for Radio Free Liberty, Radio Europe, and now on his own personal blog, writes the following. He says that Putin's strategy in Ukraine is to sow panic, provoke, invade, and then repeat the process again. According to Global, such a strategy reflects three unfortunate facts. First, Putin has a longer time horizon than do either Ukrainians or Western governments. Putin doesn't have to achieve all his goals all at once, whereas they want a resolution extremely quickly. By sowing panic, Putin is promoting his program. Donetsk insurgent leader Alexander Zakharshenko was inaugurated officially in Donetsk today. If the United States and Germany have a plan on how to deal with the continuing insurgency in Ukraine, they haven't said it yet. The situation continues to deteriorate, and everybody is waiting to hear what Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko will say today after he convenes the National Defense and Security Council meeting.